In this reaction, we have AgNO3, silver nitrate, plus NaOH, sodium hydroxide. And when they combine, we would actually get AgOH, but then that would break down into Ag2O, silver oxide, and water. So this is the equation that we'll balance in this video. Let's count the atoms up. We have one silver, one nitrogen, three oxygens, and then we have one more here, plus one, that's four, one sodium, and one hydrogen. On the product side, we have two silvers, one nitrogen, oxygens, we have three plus one plus one. So we have five total oxygens, one sodium, and then two hydrogens. Let's balance the silvers first and see where that takes us. And let's leave the oxygens until last. So I need to put a two in front of the AgNO3 to balance the silvers. So I have one times two, That'll give me two silvers, nitrogens one times two, because this two goes to everything here. So one times two, that'll give me two nitrogen atoms, and then we need to update our oxygens. So we have three times two, six, plus the one oxygen here. So now we have seven oxygens, and the sodiums, those are all the same. Next, let's fix the nitrogens. So we'll need to put a two as our coefficient in front of this sodium nitrate, NaNO3, and when we do that, the one times two, so now we have two sodiums, but nitrogens one times two, that gives us two of those. So we just balanced the nitrogens and we need to update our oxygens. So now we have three times two, six plus one, plus the one oxygen in H2O. Now we have eight oxygens. Hmm. Let's fix our sodiums here. Remember, we're leaving our oxygens for last, which is usually a pretty good strategy. So let's fix the sodiums. We have two here and one here. We could put a two in front of the NaOH. Now we have one times two. That gives us two. We need to update the oxygens again. So we have three times two, that's our six, plus one times two, that's two. And that gives us eight. And now our oxygens are the same. Our sodiums are the same and we need to do our hydrogens, we have one times two, and our hydrogens are the same on both sides, and we're done. We've balanced this equation. The trick kind of here really is to leave the oxygen to last. That'll make it quite a bit easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AgNO3 plus NaOH, and thanks for watching.